Hi everyone, welcome back to MovieJube. I'm Jade, if you don't already know, and I am here to be watching The Last Samurai as requested by the patrons on our Patreon. So if you would like to be involved in future deciding of what I watch next, make sure to become a patron. And as well as to watch the full version of this, do make sure to uh, check out our Patreon, linked in the description and the pinned comment. You don't have to, it's just an option if you would like. And uh, yeah, so I'm very excited. I know next to nothing about this film, so um, I can't wait to get into it with you all, but it was chosen by you uh, amongst a list of four film options, and this is the one that won the poll. So I'm very excited to check it out. So please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Pan was made by a handful of brave men for what seems to have become a forgotten word, honor. Honor. I just don't like how the Americans spell honor without the U. <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world, but honor has a U in it. So does color. The Last Samurai. A true American hero of the Medal of Honor for his gallantry. Oh. On the 1876. I present Nate Aldrin. Nathan. Nathan. Oh. Yes. That is him, but he doesn't want to show. This, ladies and gents, by many's a time I found myself. Oh no. Surrounded by a swarm of angry hostiles. Nothing but this rifle. Yes, the child labor. <laughs> but let me tell you, folks, the red man is a fearsome enemy. And there'd be a balder man standing by. A balder man. You could kill yourself five, six, seven braves without ever having to reload. Note the patented loading. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Mr. McCabe here will take your orders. God bless you all. Damn. See, Captain, you've a flair for the old melodrama. <laughs> We're going to the little big horn to walk and take it for me. God knows it looks as if you're going to need one <laughs> real soon. <laughs> looks like you're going to need one real soon. Just listen to what your man has to say. It's been a while. It's good to see you. Nathan Algren, I'd like you to meet Mr. Omura from Japan. Oh, I love his moustache. Japan's got it in mind to become a, a civilized country. And Mr. Omura here has hired white experts to train their army. We will pay you $400 a month. Five for each. And another 500 when we get the job done. <laughs> He's rude. Whiskey. He is very rude. He's like, take my glass. Familiar with our experiences mm. dealing with renegades. And this is during the time of their last dynasty, I believe. Japan's last dynasty. Or is that China? I think around the same time, around the 1910s. <laughs> oh no. I did what I was ordered to do out there. What do you say we put the past behind us? Damn, what happened? For 500 bucks a month, I'll kill whoever you want. But keep one thing in mind. I'd happily kill you for free. Okay. Captain Orgren, I presume? Oh, jolly good. How jolly good. Israel, stand up straight or I will get me far eastern before my eyes. <laughs> Teaching Orientals to soldier. Oh! They know how to soldier, just in the way that Americans do. Most of them are peasants who have never even seen a gun. Oh, so they weren't warriors of their own. Okay. I need more detailed information. Or more books, just. Waiting to be translated. Oh, the captain will be speaking the lingo in no time. A fellow linguist? Oh, capital. Oh, capital. I've always had a dread fascination with scalping. I never quite understood its technique. Imagine someone who hates you with the utmost intensity and scraping a dull blade of a rusty Oof. knife around your scalp with a jerk oh. on the turf of your hair. So he's done some brutal things to Native Americans. Children. God. Ugh. I suppose we should be grateful they're all firing in the same direction. I mean, I guess I've never aimed down a gun before, but... Against the shoulder. I'm sure it's very different to archery. Ute. 
love that. Nathan! Tatsumoto has attacked the railroad at the border of his province. He must be stopped now. You're not ready. The rebels don't have a single rifle. You have superior firepower and a larger force. It's not all it takes, but... Ordering the regiment to move against the rebel Katsumoto. Great. Tell this man if he does not shoot me, I will kill him! Tell him! Oh. Tell him! Oh. Faster! Faster! <laughs> Jeez. They're not ready. The regiment leaves at 6 a.m. Well, okay, he does not care. Guess it's easier to send men that you don't care about into a, a fight you know they can't win. Oh. Yoshino Province, 1876. To fight against ooh, ooh, maybe he knows him personally. See to the disposition of the supply trains. No disrespect intended, sir, but shove it up your ass. Oh, <laughs> he's fighting with them. Blow! Gosh. Such old school muskets. Wow, their armor looks incredible. Fire on my order only. Wow. Their armor does an amazing job of intimidation. Ay. Oh god. Terrible time to reload. Firepower don't mean nothing against a superior tactic. Ah. Uh. Oh god, off his horse he's doing this well. Oh, I see. They want him on their side. God. He's letting this dude fight till the very end. Oh no. Uh-uh. 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 I guess because he betrayed the samurai, he gets a death like that. So I'm not very educated with regarding samurai, but were they always nomadic or partially nomadic? Or is that just something they're having to do while at war? What is your name? Oh, oh damn. He knows English. Jose. This is my son's village. We are deep in the mountains and the winter is coming. Okay. Good. They both know English, all right. Oh. Oh, she's so beautiful. Yeah. Sake. Sake? Yeah, it make him feel better. <laughs> you pour it in and then give him a shot. <laughs> one for him, one for the wound. Oh. <coughs> Great, it hurts a lot. <coughs> fascinating would that be to live somewhere where you've only ever experienced your culture in Japan you've barely experienced a colonizer like this like an American and then you're seeing a, a type of person that you would have never seen before from another side of the world it's so cool mm, when he doesn't drink he he experiences flashbacks. He 
he's also probably having fever dreams of the PTSD he's experienced. Morning. <laughs> they really doubt he can get <laughs> anywhere far. They don't have to have such serious protocols of guarding him. What a beautiful village. He's uh, just going to shadow you for a while. Oh, these kids are so cute. Oh, cool. It would feel so odd trying to hold on to a traditional way of life while the rest of your country is trying to rapidly modernize. And there was so much change in the, I mean, this is the 1870s, but the 1890s, girl. Oh, he's wearing his shoes inside. That is nasty. They're gonna be real mad. Oh, was that his father? What's your name? <laughs> you got a name, don't you? Name, 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 name. I think he does, but I think he doesn't care. You're angry because they make you wear a dress. Are you kidding me? That looks so much more comfy than what you're wearing. <laughs> Garments like that nowadays look so bloody comfortable. Monks have the right idea. This temple was built by my family. What is your name? That's so cool. Oh, my words not correct. They are correct. He's just <laughs> rude. <laughs> I will practice my English with you if you would honor me. Wow. You kept me alive just to speak English. And what do you want? I've seen what you do to your enemies. Warriors in your country do not kill? They don't cut the heads off defeated kneeling men. General Hasegawa asked me to help him end his life. I was honored to cut off his head. And the same is true of- Yeah, your customs could be weird. Not to introduce yourself is considered extremely rude. Nathan Ogren. Don't worry, he's rude in his culture as well. <laughs> I have enjoyed this conversation in English. I have introduced myself, you have introduced yourself. Good conversation. I have questions. Questions come later. My brother-in-law. Oh. And the woman who cares for me. My sister. Hirotaro's wife. Her name is Taka. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was a good death. Damn. She's looking after him after him killing her wife. Uh, her husband. What's today? What's today? What's today? Dozo. Dozo. You killed these kids' dad. Yo, what the heck? <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> and she just has to not mourn. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Make him take a bath. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Badass, but they're so cute. <laughs> Nicely done. Come in. I mean, you can't really do that with an actual sword, but damn. Because he was holding it one handed like a Western sword. Oh. His nose got clobbered. It's like his uh, lack of honor. Or shame is his strength. Because they would feel too ashamed to get back up and try again. But he doesn't. I just realized I've been remiss. Forgive me. I have yet to thank you for looking out for me yet. <laughs> he's not your bodyguard. I think he's just meant to watch you at all times. Well done, Bob. You don't mind if I call you Bob, do you? He'll Bob once. God, he was ugly as a mule. Oh, that's so rude. You ladies' man, Bob? He's trying to entertain himself. Who's yours teaching you the way of the Japanese sword? General of your army? Captain. Is it a low rank? A middle rank. And who was your general? His name was Custer. No, this name. He killed many warriors. So he was a good general? No. And he got massacred because he took a single battalion against 2,000 angry Indians. How many men for Custer? 200. Yeesh. I like this General Custer. He was a murderer who fell in love with his own legend and his troopers died for it. What do you want from me? What the hell am I doing here? He's just ready. Someone bathed this man, and not just in the rain, like with soap. <laughs> I continue to live among these unusual people. I am their captive, and then I cannot escape. Mostly, I'm treated with a kind of a mild neglect or an unwell. Yay, they're bathing him! Good. 
Now soap your hair. Call me stanky. Everyone is polite. Everyone smiles and bows. That's interesting. It's so opposite to how he is. He's very rude and he comes across very rude and uh, off-putting, but he says what he means and feels. The thumb trick, really? Hey, yeah. They are an intriguing people. From the moment they wake, they devote themselves to the perfection of whatever they pursue. Yeah, they do things with very... a lot of intention. I have never seen such discipline. So would he be considered the captain? He's learning to hold it with two hands. Huh. It looks so much nicer on him than what he was wearing before. Oh, <laughs> he's sussing it out how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> this for you. Too many mind. Too many mind. Thinking too much. Mind the soul. Mind the people. What? Mind the enemy. Too many mind. No mind. Okay. He's so nice. Oh damn. <laughs> oh 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 wrestling. Hell yeah. He taps her. <laughs> what, what are these? Hashi. Hashi. Hi, hi, Hashi. Oh, he's so cute. Hashi, Hashi, Hashi. Mage, Mage, Mage. Mimi. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> She'd feel very conflicted. I understand. It would feel shameful to have your husband's killer live with you. That'd be very sad. I love this dude just following him, just, just uh, around every corner. This village's winter is kind of like ours. It's not very snowy. It's more or like cold. It's more just rainy. That's a really cool shot. Oh, and I, I lied. <laughs> this village's weather is nothing like our winter. <laughs> He's allowed to be ugly. <laughs> oh my god, I would die for those kids. They're so cute. He doesn't care. Whoa, he understood that. Yeah, true. Let him do some of the work for you. Is he gonna apologize? Sorry. Yeah, he's apologizing. Come in the, the side. Come in the side for your husband, Hirotaro. Anohitoha Magojiro is so cute. That fresh bowl haircut. Hell yeah. This marks the longest I have stayed in one place since I left Arm at 17. There's so much here that I will never understand. I've never been a church-going man, but there is indeed something. Yeah, they're very spiritual here, yeah. Buddhism, but not just that. I mean, Shintoism can go with a lot of different religions, like Buddhism. Oh, this boy is so cute. I know I keep saying it, sorry. I'm not that, like, baby crazy, but they specifically are so cute. My first untroubled sleep in many years. <laughs> He's teaching them American baseball, not me. <laughs> I was thinking five too. Is that seven? <laughs> Damn. Bob's impressed. I know his name's not Bob, but I don't know his name. <laughs> Theatre for them was only played by male actors, though. Who was this amateur? Oh my god. Catch him on 
Who? Oh no! We've got crossbows. Is this a neighboring village or? Oh my god! It's literally ninjas versus samurai. <laughs> Oh my god! <gasps> Ooh. Oh! This dude's on fire! Oh, Bob. I wonder where the teachings of ninja come from. If it's less ancient than samurai, or just as. Was that in his eye? Are you kidding me? Damn. How many of... Oh my god. Wow. You could spend your life looking for that. Was it the Emperor? I'm having trouble finishing the poem. Every soldier has nightmares. Only one who is ashamed of what he has done. You have no idea. And he's ashamed of it. When I took this, you were my enemy. Oh, I hope you learnt a lot from the uh, the Native Americans that he read about. That's really cool. <laughs> is that just Bob standing in the background? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Back to the bustling city. Oh, cool! So interesting seeing the contrast of very westernized people of Tokyo versus the more traditional people of the village. He still refuses to bow. I don't understand why. Whoa. A very westernized military. Ogren, my god, you are alive. Well, you never cease to astonish. <laughs> After living with those savages, I can only imagine. Welcome back, Captain. Captain Ogren, with all due respect, sir, perhaps there's someone else we should be speaking to. Perhaps there is someone else we should be speaking to. We should be looking forward to hearing from you. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Perhaps you and I might have a word in private. Okay. May I offer you whiskey? No, thank you. No. Oh yeah, I guess he's been sober for a while. Because it's not easy to make sake there, so they wouldn't have unlimited supply. Or you will lead my army against him. And with these new weapons, you will crush Damn. him. Damn. I appreciate the offer. It is not an offer. Mr. Mora, my contract was to train your army. Then we will make a new contract. Do we understand each other? Yes, we understand each other perfectly. Then I'm pleased. <laughs> Don't cut his hair. Why? He packed his gun away. Damn. Oh, my God. His whole hand. He ended up with two. <laughs> oh, he did it. I didn't think he would. I don't know why. Oh, it's the President of the United States. 
This is the president. President of the United States. Sorry. I think I'm going to be sick. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I guess for all they know, that's how the president dresses. <laughs> how would they have ever seen a US president before photography? <laughs> How's your poem coming? The end is proving difficult. This is Mr. Simon Graham. He'd like very much to take your photograph. Aww. this. With his cab driver. That's cool. Jeez. It's okay, they're still not good shots. <laughs> In the throat. Jeez. Sheesh. I guess that's how he would have wanted to go, but it's horrifying. I have failed them. I'm so sorry. So you will take your own life. Service, discipline, compassion. The way of the samurai is not necessary anymore. What could be more necessary? I will die by the sword, my own. You don't, you don't need to do that. And let it be your enemies. Together, we will make the emperor hear you. I don't know if you can do that. I guess what else do you have to lose? Be wiped out or... So this. Wow. Oh. Who's <laughs> Oh. oh damn. He's looking like Obi Wan Kenobi right now. <laughs> Sorry to ruin the moment. <laughs> oh, cool. Woo. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's a sword for him. You will need this. What does it say? I belong to the warrior in whom. Okay, that was kind of a bow, not fully a bow, but almost. Ah! Hot damn. Is that a cat? <laughs> so these are all different uh, villages of samurai. I wonder how many there there are. And I guess they're not all nomadic because they seem to stay in that village the whole winter and spring. Good God. The Imperial Army of Japan demands your surrender. This is not possible. We will show you no quarter. You ride against us and you are the same as they are. I'll look for you on the field. <laughs> you, you do really want to kill him, sir. This is his opportunity where it's fair game. If you kill him, it's just war. Perhaps you can use these for your book. Wow. Yes, I will. Captain. That's so cool. Godspeed. Damn. You better take some good photos. <laughs> They've had Western influence too. But in the style of the samurai, I guess. <laughs> Civil War's so awful because it's just such minor differences. Damn. 
Did Olga know exactly how many meters it could reach? <sighs> Jeez. Okay, the distance is really not good. You need to be close. Drawing them in. Look at how they're funneled in. Okay. Okay, you've given them time to fan out. They've closed them off. Damn. Good aim. And now they can't see what's going on. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Enough arrows to block out the sun, baby. Sheesh. The attack has been stopped. They're going in blind. <sighs> Shh. Oh. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Woo! Ah! Ooh, horseback. Just when they think they're outnumbering you. God, the strategies are bloody good, but... Oh, straight into it though. Good for him. Damn. Sheesh. Oh my god, there's no way you're gonna live more than like 18 seconds. We won't be able to stop them again. Yeah. You do not have to die here. Now you live again. It was not your time. It's not over. Oh wow. He's still alive? He got shot in the stomach. <laughs> This is madness. He's going to attack? Yes. All of them. Now! My horse! He's fleeing? <sighs> okay, no, no, he's not fleeing. He's just joining the front. Ah. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, 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 he said he would. There's so few of them. Uh 
They're gonna die. That's fair. <sighs> he wants you to do it for him. Are you ready? Our conversations. <laughs> He refuses to die. Oh my god. This is Katsumoto's sword. He would have wanted you to have it. He hoped with his last breath that you would remember the ancestors who held this sword. You were with him at the end? This man fought against you. If you believe me to be your enemy, command me, and I will gladly take my life. Wow. Tell me how he died. By his own sword. I will tell you how he lived. And so the days of the samurai had ended. As for the American captain, no one knows what became of him. Some say that he died of his wounds, but I like to think he may have at last found some small measure of peace we all seek and few of us ever find. They found it in a small village. Wow. Alrighty everyone, that was The Last Samurai, and that was really well done. I actually didn't expect to cry in, in this film, but I teared up a little bit about how, I don't know, beautiful it is when humans can fully empathize with another person's perspective and then understand what something else means to them, even if it doesn't mean that for themselves, and that's something I want to keep learning and I would love others to learn and yeah it's just very fascinating I wonder if this had any um, kind of truthful elements to it about what happened whether there was a situation like this I really or at least you know somewhat like this where some someone from America did live amongst a small village and lived with other samurai and learned to accept them and appreciate their way of life but that was a really cool story and i hope you all enjoyed watching as well so please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe and uh for more polls or choosing what i watch next be sure to check out the patreon linked in the description and the pinned comment if you're interested and for the full version of my reaction as well and otherwise i will see you all in the next one Bye.